It's 2024 and the new series of Lego collectible minifigures are finally here. This is series 25 and we've got 12, unfortunately, boxed figures here to unbox today and hopefully find different ones. Because they're not in bags anymore, you can't feel them to find out which figure's inside, but I did the whole trick with an electronic scale to weigh them all and find out that way. This is super embarrassing, way more embarrassing than feeling them, but you can use this weight guide from Jay's Brick Blog, just screenshot it, and they all have slightly unique weights. Some of them are a little close, so that's what I'm, I'm worried about. About, but hopefully they're all different and if not at least this very first one will be unique because this first one is the opening the treasure chest sound effect plays it is the <laughs> the weightlifting lady i've seen comments on instagram calling this different names but we've got a nice little smirk there and then this she's sweating but happy i'm gonna do that face this is a cool hairstyle i think this is what i used for the zelda minifigure from our zelda video up here but we've got a water bottle what does this say vita rush so she's having some vitamin water vitamin water i'm british there we go 10 pound or kilogram or ton or whatever medicine ball here this goes very well with there's a weightlifting figure from a couple series ago 19 maybe with the mustache and he's got the two double dumbbells so look at her like sports top there at sport rt sport oh it just says sport okay anyways look at that she's got a cool tattoo floral things those are actually made with real lego pieces that's kind of cool that's like the fire piece and those are like the, the different types of flowers but of course we got the classic minifigure base plates and some nice shorts there dual molded with a little waistband there hey that's the same logo that terry has and one of the other figures coming up does so very nice figure to start us off with the series and let us move on to the next figure after i'm sorry i forgot about the sheet my brother said this was like smaller than it has been and it definitely feels smaller look at this wow yeah look at it compared Compared to series 24, it's significantly smaller. The figures are all smaller too. There's still 12. There's all this extra junk on the bottom to fill up some of that space. That's a disappointment. The back's still pretty much the same, but this is actually more of the size of like series one. And it's even the same color. That's kind of cool. I do prefer the bigger sheets just because they show the, all the figures in more detail. But I don't know. So what we're working with now. And I'd rather have them make this smaller than make the figures more expensive. $5 for each of them is still plenty to pay for. So eh, they'll cut corners where they can, I guess. But as for the sheet itself, we actually got this leaked a lot long time ago and so we knew what this was going to look like but seeing it actually in person after seeing that blurry image where you could barely see this figure for so long is so cool to see. So obviously we've got uh, Mrs. Muscles right here and we've got 11 more to find. Hopefully they're all here. I, I do not know but on the back there it gives some more instructions for some of the more complicated things. I'm excited for the train kit. I can't wait for that. That's what, one of my favorites of the series. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments but uh, yeah we've got a lot of good ones here. Some of them are kind of eh or whatever but I've got fun ideas for most of them in the upcoming 25 on my main channel, so stay hyped for that as I am hyped to open the next figure. It's a little bit different, these boxes. I think the Marvel figures had this side open, so this is just a little bit nicer and so people aren't gonna tear them open in stores anymore because then they would be get spoiled and see, oh wow, we got two, <laughs> two of my least favorites, to be honest, in the series back to back. We've got the Gamer Girl. So this is actually a good sign because I know this was one of them that we had no idea if we had it or not. It was like the weights of them were a little bit too similar. It's interesting she's got a game Gamified version of the Black Falcon logo, the Castle Faction, because that's similar to the Falconer figure of Series 24. See, they kind of have a similar torso, and then also she has that Sport logo, which is on her waistband. Green headphones, love to see that. Green lipstick, I guess, and she's thrilled she got a Battle Royale Victory W. I am a gamer, I know all the gamer lingo. This hair is cool. Pink for the first time, probably. These headphones, I think they're this is they're supposed to go this way. Maybe they go the other way. Okay, the head fits a lot better that way, and then the hair should hopefully fit better there. There we go. We've got an RGB keyboard. I love that. That's super cool. We've got a super fa fancy gaming mouse. I wonder if she can butterfly click on there or jitter click or all those terminologies. We've got a trophy. She can't even hold all these things. That's that, that's a sign of a good figure is when you can't hold everything that comes with. Extra headphones, extra mouse for then this one wears out. You know what? As as much as I, you know, oh, hold on. What's the back say? Vita Rush, we've got the synergy here. They're both sweaty in different senses of the word. Look at this. The pants don't have any pr pr printing on the front, but they have printing on the side, which is actually a rarity in minifigures these days. So that's interesting. It's kind of like the sweatpants, but they're like branded with her like gaming logo. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see my final judgment of the series as we go on, but let's just open the next figure, which is going to be Train Kid. Let's go right away. <laughs> 
third figure of the series. Awesome. This is the heaviest by far when we're doing the weighing. This is like 21 grams or whatever, but I'm so happy. It's There's so many pieces in here. I can't even fit them all on screen. So let's just start first of all, putting the head on the body. Look at that. He's got an eye patch there underneath his glasses, freckles. He's smiling. No alternate face because the hat does not cover the whole head. No worries there. But this is actually a recolored version of the paper delivery boy from series 24. A lot of connections with series 24. So it's cool to get that in blue. But then the train costume. We can finally do the, the whole bit of trains, planes, and automobiles because we've had the race car figure. We've had the plane figure. We've actually also got a boat figure. And so now we've got the fourth vehicle on our list. And I think there's like a, a UFO in the upcoming space series or something like that. We've got 25 years of Lego trains or something was the first train. It's got to be more recently than that. I feel like there was trains in the 80s. Anyways, where does this even come from? Let me follow the instructions here. Okay, you need a hollow stud. That's what I was wondering. Now, this is a figure that's well deserving of its $5 price tag. The only unfortunate part is like when it's displayed like this, the, the smoke is like right in his face. You can't see him unless he's like turning his head to the side this way. It's a little bit difficult to display, but it's going to be super fun for play because if you take his legs off, these wheels actually spin and like these wheels are fake, but these wheels are real. And so he can, you can make a super cool little train track. I'm excited for this guy's video. I know we just did the train video of for the Disney series this past summer, but I've got some ideas to shake up the formula a bit and do something a little bit different. So yeah, there we go. Third one. And we've already got one of my favorites of the series, but who knows the next one could be even more, more favorable. Let's see what it is as we pop it open. And it is, uh oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, so when you weigh them yourself, you you run into a, a situation where you, you're gonna get duplicates. This is this has never happened before. You get that smile off your face. This is a sad moment. Yeah, so this is why the change from bags to boxes is a little bit anti-consumer. We're gonna gloss over that. Hopefully, I don't know which one we're missing, but we'll just we'll just move on to the next one to hopefully it be as a palate cleanser. We've got, ooh, interesting. This is something different. It's the detective, let's go. This guy's got an awesome black and white color scheme going on. So I might make this part of the video black and white just to be funny. It would be hilarious to make his entire 25 episode all in black and white, but I don't think, I don't think people would like that very much. So here, I'll show this. This is red, a red herring as like a fish clue. Oh, I love that. It's such a good pun. Obviously he's got this cool magnifying glass, his little mustache there, a new hat piece, his trench coat, also a cape to add to this trench coat, making it even cooler. Oh, this is amazing. This is definitely tied with this guy as one of my favorites of the series. I mean, it's it's easy to beat these two, but like these two are really solid. Oh man, it's cool to start. Even the back printing looks great. Dual molded pants. This printing for his trench coat is so subtle, but it just elevates his figure so much. Yeah, that was definitely a good palette cleanser after this whole debacle. And that was actually one of them that I, I wasn't sure I was gonna get because of the whole weighing situation that this one is very close in weight to, I think this one. So I don't know where this came from, I don't know. We'll just have to see as we go further along. Uh oh, there's another cape, oh no. Oh, it's the Bat Lord, let's go, or the Vampire Knight or whatever. Look at that face, what on earth? Is an actual vampire with a mustache? Who's, whose mustache is better? Comment down below. I don't know, this guy has a good traditional one, but this guy's fancy. Look at the mustache with the teeth, that looks like a bat. Oh man, so I'm not gonna forget the cape this time. And why would you? This is a fancy cape, look at that. We've got little arrows and the spiky bits and then the bat logo in the back there, just red on the back. It's papery instead of cloth, which makes sense with all this printing and it kind of harkens back to the original Bat's Lord minifigure. Well, which, which face are we going with? It's sad that we have to cover it up with this helmet. Can you still see his mustache? You can't. You can just see his eyes. This is a cool figure. Oh, I like that one where there's like the red back into his eyes because you can see that through the helmet. Nice little helmet too with these bat wings molded on. I think this is a new piece. It's not the old traditional one, but it looks so much like it. That's fun. We've got the shield. Oh, look at that. It looks just like the, the thing there, the logo. And his pants are even fancy too. That's so fancy. See, this is a fantastic remake of an old figure. I know there's a bunch of them in the leaked space photos that just look so ugly. <laughs> I know some people are excited about them, like the different space themes, but like they could have modernized them a little bit more and not had their ugly color scheme. This guy, I mean, it, the original looked amazing too, but this one just is so much cooler. Look at that. The red battle axe, the arm printing, the back printing. Can you see that under the cape there? It's got all these diamonds around it just as the, this plated armor. I'm excited for the video idea I have for this one. So I hope you are as well as we move on to the next figure, which is going to be...
be the harpy. Let's go. So actually, this is along the same lines as this one because it's like the mythical kind of medieval. Oh, look at those legs. This is the same legs as the fawn minifigure from maybe 19. I don't know. We've got this. I don't like the color scheme on this one as much, but the idea is really solid. You got these purple wings on the back here and a pink head, blue body, dark blue leg. It's just so much going on with the gold and then his cool ponytail. That's fun. Goes right there. Another tie into series 24. Let, look at this guy's ponytail. I think it works better for this figure, like a black version of this. It wouldn't have looked as good on the orc guy here, but it works really well for the harpy. We've got the classic wolverine claws for his talons. Yeah, all the pieces in this figure are great. Wings, claws, legs, hair. It's just the color scheme that's just really throwing it off. This is like, looks like a flying monkey from Wizard of Oz, and I don't know. They maybe should have gone with something else, but I, I guess I don't know what would have looked better. But anyways, I, I don't know. Th this one hopefully doesn't look like a flying monkey. Hopefully it's not another repeat. I'm upset about that still. We've got, oh, the dog, I see a dog. Let's get into this thing, here we go. This is the dog groomer. Look at that, we've got hair all over her pants there. Nice little apron there. A nice heel color for the torso. And I believe she has, oh, it's molded in, interesting. A hearing aid. So we've got some nice representation here with, look at that, with, oh, this this hair piece is amazing actually. A nice little ponytail, swipe of the hair there, and then the hearing aid. Comes with two scissors, so she's just gonna like be dual wielding them, as you do. And just go absolutely nuts giving this, whatever kind of dog this is, a haircut. I really should have looked that up but it's got like super long hair flowing. If anything, there should be more hairs on the legs and especially the torso there because if it's anything like the dogs I know, this thing sheds like crazy. And of course, giving it a haircut will make the problem even worse. So she's gonna have to ride the dog because the dog has taken over the, the base plate there. So we'll just stick her in the back next to the, the duplicates there. I'm still upset about that, but we're, we're moving on. We're moving on. I'm, I'm not sure which one, which one we're not gonna get. Oh no, we're not gonna get two of them. That is disappointing. <laughs> Another detective. No, I mean this is another I'd rather get two of this by a long shot than two of gamer girl over here Like this is a much better figure we got two different trains I mean that was a very like clearly this was like four grams heavier than every other figure so, Like it makes sense that we're not gonna get anything of that But like I don't know the, the another duplicate So now we're gonna miss out on two different figures. We'll see which one that is as we move on to the next figure Please be something new uh, No <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> three duplicates within 12 figures. Hopefully only three. Uh, well, how does this keep happening? Let's get all the duplicates next to each other. This is like clone hour. Oh man, there we go. This is, we've only got two left now and like five more figures to get. So that's not a good odds. Please, please, yes! A new one and it's the mushroom girl. Look at this hat. I love it. It's got the little phalanges on the inside. That's not what they're called. Spores probably. A little happy little smile there and a thrill little thing here. Extremely reminiscent of the Mushroom Boy minifigure from series 22. Not just because obviously he comes with the mushroom, although that's super cool, but like the expression is literally identical. We've got the happy one with like the little lines on the cheeks. I guess his eyes are open, but then we've got the slightly less happy version with the grin is just going opposite ways. And they've got the little rosy cheeks too. Kind of a fun connection there. And of course, Shroom, what kind of monstrous shrooms can we make in her episode? I've got some suggestions that we should make her an acorn house because we made the acorn boy a mushroom house. That'd be kind of fun. I don't know. What do you think about that? We've got a little dress skirt kind of piece, but it's hard plastic instead of like paper. Her torso isn't all too interesting, but obviously the mushroom makes up for that hard. Like, look at that. She's the stem of the mushroom, and then she's got the, the cap. She's like a, a Lego version of Toads from the Mario universe. And then we've got a printed butterfly. I'm so excited to get one of these in like a cheaper thing. I think these first showed up in the A-Frame Cabin Lego Ideas set, and I'm actually getting that as part of my um, consolation prize for not getting my idea picked. So that's kind of fun. But yeah, the blue and the green on that looks very much like a peacock butterfly, I believe, if my Animal Crossing knowledge is correct. Back printing, it's a it's a simpler torso, obviously very short legs. She's even shorter than the mushroom and the acorn boy. That's a cool duo. We should, we gotta do something with that. We also gotta get this guy back because obviously he's like old in the, the series 22 universe, whatever. But I, I was just thrilled that it's not a duplicate. We've got one more left, one more chance to get at least something new. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. And it is, oh. I see dog legs, but it's goat legs. It's not the dog groomer. It's the goat farmer with the goats. This thing is like $150 on Bricklink because, well, it's actually a different piece, but it was in a set from 2008. It was $200 originally. So this is like one of the rarest Lego animals and the collector market for this is wild. So at least that one's still exclusive with the spots on it. I would have wished it would have gotten an upgrade rather than downgrade, but whatever. We've got a cool farmer that goes with it. His expressions are great. We've got another good mustache. Who, who does it better? This guy, this guy, I've got this guy here. Three different 
different mustaches in this series. I mean, four if you count the duplicate, but we're not counting it, okay? <laughs> this is more similar to this. I like this one better than this one, and then I can't decide which of these two I like better. So you still gotta let me know and include this guy in the rankings as well. A nice use of the Jedi robes headpiece there, and then his legs are in olive with a little bag there. I love that. I think this is supposed to be goat cheese, and if so, that's very boring. It's just like a one by one round white tile. They could have printed it or something like that. I don't know. And then the staff is very much similar to the Mushroom Kid staff. Again, I wonder the connection there. We've got a patch on his arm there and like this cool like goat fleece on the back of his thing there. And he comes with a bag. I forgot the bag. I'm so sorry. No patch on this arm. I like this torso though. This is a good figure. Oh, also I didn't actually show this face. He's sleeping in this one and then he like just woke up in this one. So we're gonna let him let him sleep on top of his goat there. Look at that. So which ones are we missing then? We've got all of them except for the Paralympic athletes the dinosaur costume 2, electric boogaloo, and then the barbarian lady. So, I think I know what I have to do. <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> I literally had to speed run to the store to get three more figures to hopefully, we weighed them so, we doubled, we tripled, we quadruple check these. They have to be right, right? Please. Uh, I'm sure the extra gas I drove and the extra plastic bag that, that I got at the store, it's all better for the environment, guys. Don't worry. Uh, the, the 15 extra dollars I gave to Lego, that's definitely better for the environment. Please, we got Paralympic dinosaur or barbarian. Please. No! <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, got three gamer girls. Awesome. It's better for the environment. Okay. I'm not, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm happy. I'm really, I'm thrilled. It's more gas, more plastic waste into the ocean, killing turtles. Here we go. It's better for the environment. We've got three, three gamer girls. We should just name our channel to the B, the BG, the B, the B gamer. All right, please. I cannot take another. I can't. Please. <laughs> This, all right, okay. We're done, we're done. How, how did I get two? We double, we made sure. This was the dinosaur. We weighed it. What happened? Two, two mushroom, two mushroom girls, okay. Three gamer girls, two mushroom girls, and a partridge in a pear tree. What do we have left? Please, something, anything new. We had three options, yes! Okay, we were so solid on this one. This was like the lightest figure of the series. That's actually a really cool sword, by the way. This is the lightest figure of the series. Oh, her hair. Look at this face. I like that. See, there's, there's good in this series, right? It's not all frustrating. Those legs are super... Those are awesome legs. I'm just like so thrilled seeing anything new. Awesome hair piece. Very, again, reminiscent of the Falcon or last series with a red. Actually, can we uh, do this sort of thing? There we go. Look at her new haircut. I'm just... Oh, man, I'm happy. <laughs> we got one out of three. I don't know. Do we go back to the store and try to get the other two. I'm gonna need them eventually, obviously, but I could just brick link the other two. That sword is cool. This is what they use in the dreams, and it's dual molded, so the outside is a different kind of silvery color than the, the gunmetal gray on the inside. Octagonal base there. This is awesome. Yeah, this is the lightest figure at about 17 grams, and this was like 16.6 grams. I was like, all right, this has to be it, right? I mean, these had to be the other ones too, but apparently not. Apparently, it's better for the environment. If Okay, breathe, breathe. We're gonna try this one more time. <laughs> Oh, it got so much worse. These are all duplicates, or pretty much. I went through the darn self-checkout lane literally eight times in a row. I ended up not driving back and forth to my house because that's just been, like way too wasteful. So I did open them in the car, so I'm not gonna show like my raw reaction to them, but this is why. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So what is this one? It's a gamer girl. Wonderful. I love gamer girls. Don't take that out of context. What's the next one? Oh, I th <laughs> this is the last one we did. I opened it in desperation, just poked a hole in it. It's another weightlifting lady, of course. Why not? Join the club. What's the next one? Okay, actually, no, this is good. This is good. So this is actually what we thought the Paralympic was going to be. The, there was a little bit of a discrepancy in the weight thing, but it's a dinosaur. All right, okay. Let's give it a chance. This is very similar to another Series 24 figure, actually. Little Diego the T-Rex dinosaur, man. Look at that. They have the same kind of printing. Well, it's, I mean, it's the same style of printing. It's not the same exact pattern, but the, the, the tummy pattern, the legs, the little kneecaps there, little claws at the bottom. This is a little bit more rounded because it's an herbivore. Where's his head? There we go. Look at that. 
confidence. Ooh, that's a confident face. That is confident. I like that. Oh, I forgot the tail. The same, literally same kind of tail with the same sort of pattern. And then the pace de resistance, or the piece of resistance, is the triceratop. This is way cooler than the, this one. I mean, both of them are amazing. And I was so happy with how the, the dinosaur video turned out in 24ville. So the dinosaur video in 24-5ville is going to be amazing. This is a great figure. A little bit of a bright spot in this otherwise dull and dreary, dreary existence. Okay, what is the next one? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, so we ended up getting two dinosaurs because the weight guides online said this was supposed to be like 17.8 and this was 17.3. So that's like half a gram of difference. So I don't know what happened there, but at least that's one duplicate that I'm happy with. The detective, the dinosaur, and the mushroom. This, this whole area, however, not as happy with. And all these guys, they're just so lonely. What else do we have? Oh, of course. Another weightlifter. Just get on the other... Ugh. Another weightlifter. That makes five if you're counting at home. We have more muscle ladies than gamer girls now. Great. I can't wait to see what the next one is. <laughs> yes. All right. It's another muscle lady. Better for the environment. <laughs> I wonder which one is next better for the environment. Oh, it's another mushroom. Okay. I mean, that's still very infuriating, but you know, it's, it's less infuriating than six muscle ladies. Why? Why are they the exact same weight? I'm looking for the Paralympic athlete as the final one. And we consulted four different weight guides and all four of them said that they are the exact same weight. What is this? What is this? Another dinosaur? Sure. Why not? Who cares at this point? Why? Why did Lego do this? I'm finally starting to feel the effects of it now. Obviously with the Marvel things, I ordered them on eBay. So someone else had to deal with all this nonsense. And I just had to wait for like a month for them to arrive. And I didn't like that. I wanted to like be there, the rush initial. So I decided to do it myself. And I paid the price sorely, sorely, sorely for it. Why do we need four dinosaurs? Oh no. I'm just gonna cut to the chase and show you what this one is. Guess what? It's not the last one we need. It's another harpy, apparently. I don't know. The, the, the weight, the weights were so so inconsistent. Our scale needs to be more precise. I'm just really tired, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. We went through that same checkout lane eight times in a row. I felt so bad for the poor lady working there. She was just so confused why why we just kept going through getting one minifigure each time because I'm not gonna like buy extras in case, you know. That'd be inefficient. That would be... <sighs> So I, I just need a little bit of a chill and build these figures and at least this was another like kind of cool like different one at least to get a duplicate of if you're gonna get a duplicates of yeah but like at this point I think we've spent more money on duplicates than the actual series so that's that's just sad oh no <laughs> 15 duplicates <laughs> yep uh, this, I'm sorry guys I tried I don't want to have this experience spoil my like opinion on the actual series as a whole because there's a lot of cool figures in here and I mean this is this I hate this I despise this it's vile it's loathsome in every despicable way the figure itself isn't even that bad but just my experience with it is forever tainted getting six of them why why? That's half a series. Why? You, imagine they sell them in like six packs. You just open it. There's all of these. We could have gotten some of these. The Vampire Knight could have been cool to get duplicates. No. Six muscle ladies. Four gaming gamer girls. I'm I'm fuming. And it's been a little bit of time. I wish I got my raw reaction to some of these, but I didn't want to drive back and forth to my house ten times. I literally made ten purchases today. My, my one card declined because <laughs> five dollar purchase. Five dollar purchase. You know, so. I tried my best, guys. And I'm just going to brick link the other guy. I wish I could have box it to review for you today um but i'm i'm just a little bit concerned frankly so let me know what i should do with six muscle ladies in the comments below let me know what your favorite figure is and why you hate this one with all of your soul and please remember to like the video or subscribe if you haven't already because this this cost me way too much this was a mistake <laughs>